Okay, I'm back. All right, so we're going to start with line three. It says, for the wicked boasts of his heart's desire. He blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. The wicked in his proud countenance does not seek God. God is in none of his thoughts. All right, so here we are looking at the wicked. Look at what he's, uh, what the writer's saying that he does. He boasts of his heart's desire, desire. He blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. Are we really talking about the wicked boasting? Yeah, that could be uh, a little pridefulness. Okay, but what about the blessing? Seemed like that's kind of ironic right there. The wicked blessing? I thought blessing comes from God. And I thought that... You know, I guess, you know, we bless others. But the wicked blessing, that just seems a little bit ironic to me. But look at it. So let's go into these these key scriptures, uh, these reference scriptures, and see what it says to be able to, so we can expound on a little bit more. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire, he blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. So it gives us a reference scripture, scripture to fall um, Psalm 49, 6, stammering on my words, 49, 6, that says, Those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them is seven, none of them can by any means redeem his brother. All right, so people are uh, those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches. A lot of people think just because they have is that they can boast in it. And I guess rightly so. I mean, you can, you know, go and say, you know, I want this type of car. I could get this type of uh, house. I can, you know, buy all the clothes I want. I can have all the women or the men I want. I can have all these things that I want. All right. But all of that is fleeting. All of that is fleeting. Look at um, Psalm 94, 3. Lord, how long will the wicked, how long will the wicked triumph? And then Proverbs 28, 4. Which says, those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. For those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but as such as keep the law contend with them. So when we go on against the law, we run with the wicked. And we being boastful. Just like the wicked. So my underlying theme, my underlying tone through all of this is maintain your righteousness. Maintain your uprightness. Live right before the Lord. Live right before the Lord. Do the right things that's going to bring God glory out of the life he has given you. And out of the breath, he is breathing in your body every time um, you wake up. And even when you're sleeping, you're, you are breathing the breath that God allowed you to breathe. All right. So don't get caught up in what the wicked is doing or not doing. You do what you need to do. And then look at four. The wicked in his proud countenance does not seek God. God is in none of his thoughts. And he gives us a reference scripture to Psalm 36, 1. An oracle within my heart concerning the transgression of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. And like I said, I think it was in Psalm 8 or 9. can't remember right now. Um, that... They're not thinking about God. 
they don't have any fear of authority. They have no fear of God. And so when a person doesn't have any fear of anything, they are capable of doing anything. And that's what the wicked do. I mean, they don't care. And it doesn't matter how mad we get, how much we question God. The wicked is who they are. Wicked. <laughs> Just like a sinner is what a sinner does. Sin. Anyway, we're going to stop there. Yeah, let's stop there.